everybody, it's Lucas with Casual Kayak Fishing. I'm in the car again. Uh, this is just a heads up, there is no fishing or kayaking in this video today. Um, this is going to be about the camera mounts that I've been talking about in the last couple of installments. Um, I did mention that somebody had sent me a link to some that you can buy on Amazon. And I looked at them and read through some of the reviews and no offense to my buddy Sean, he did some hard work looking for those. Uh, but they're probably kind of garbage. Uh, so this morning I had the inspiration to look on YouTube of all places for some DIY camera mounts and I found one that I really like. Um, it's spring loaded and I can pretty much ratchet up the tension on the springs as much as I want. Um, so I went out and got the parts for those. Um, I am going to include the link to that video in the description of this one. So you'll be able to find that down there somewhere. Uh, props where it's due, of course, uh, but I will be making these, uh, almost no modifications, but what I will be showing you that is different is how I intend to mount them on the kayaks. Um, I might not do the actual install for that today, I still have a couple more pieces to find to make sure that the kayak stays watertight, but there will be, you know, a step-by-step -step on how I put this together, plus, you know, a short list of what I actually used. Uh, in the making of this, so stay tuned for that. I'm going to my parents' house. They have uh, power tools and things that I don't own, and um, maybe you guys go see them. But I think they'll work. Okay, so I made it to my mom's house. Um, this is my old room, my brother's old room, my other other brother's old room. Uh, it's really large. Might get some echo in here. Don't know how good the quality on this is going to be. But whatever, I don't really care. So, um, what I've got here, got a piece of five foot schedule 40 three quarter inch PVC pipe. Um, this is not only going to be the gripper bar on the camera mount, but it's also going to be uh, the extenders I use um, to put the mounts on the kayak. So I'll explain how that's gonna work here in a minute. I've also got, one quarter inch uh, 20 thread um, carriage bolt. You can see the little square pieces up there. That's just to lock the top piece in place. Uh, in addition to that, I've got some 3 8 inch interior diameter uh, by one 3 quarter inch length uh, compression springs. And this is going to help it's going to help the um, Gonna help keep it in place. It's the spring component that makes this whole thing work. Um, in addition to that, got some three quarter inch to half inch threaded uh, PVC fittings. Two of those. We've got two three quarter inch PVC caps. Made sure they fit with my Super 40 before I bought them, not to be dumb. And then I got some. The same quarter inch, 20 thread by one inch, um, Phillips head bolts with nuts. And I'm going to use these for a couple of different things also. So that's my material list. In addition to that, I'm going to use like a power drill, a hacksaw, uh, probably my butane torch that I've got at my house later on for melting some of this PVC a little bit to make it here fit. I don't have a Dremel tool. Uh, so I'm going to cut some of these bits up, and once I get them into the right shapes and sizes, then I'll come back and show you how it all fits together. Okay, so it's been like five and a half hours, maybe six hours total. Um, I'm back at home. You can see my refrigerator over there. Uh, I've had <laughs> an interesting time putting this together. Uh, it turns out I am terrible at DIY. Um, I've known this for a long, long, long time. I'm very uh, bad at measuring things. I don't really own any tools. Um, I don't respect materials when I try to use when I try to work with them. Um, and sometimes I accidentally take shortcuts. Sometimes it's really unfortunate. But I've managed to get this thing put together. Uh, let me show you what I've done to the to the parts real quick. And what I've gone and done is run this carriage bolt through the length here. I've attached it to um, this cap. Temporarily, this cap has a 
quarter inch bolt threaded through it. Obviously not very straight because I didn't measure it very good and take uh, I didn't measure very well or take proper precautions to make sure that was straight. The principle is, is you've got these notches cut into these bits of PVC. These are probably only about three inches long so that when the spring is enacted, there's that compression spring, when the spring is enacted it draws this down and then the spring powers it back up to grip the phone. I'm going to get some uh, spongy bits or some padding to put in here to make that softer and to make the, the smooth, to make it you know a smoother hold on the phone. Essentially what I intend to do is to take these caps like this and have them on um, two different lengths of PVC so that I can have one sit here at the front of the boat um, in this kind of location so that it gives a view of me there in the cockpit which it'll be nice when I'm landing fish and you guys can see um, the length and me and I can talk to you guys and not talk you know over some background and then I tend to put another one uh, back here probably right about there so that it comes and shoots right up over my shoulder so that you'll get an angle from about from about here so that you can see out into the water and see the things that I'm doing and see where I'm casting and see you know any type of strange or interesting or educational thing that I'm doing from there and it'll also be nice to kind of see what I'm seeing when we're out doing you know some adventure paddling I'm using it right now. Um, I'll walk into the other room so you can see me use it. Um, Stabilization is not too bad. I've just got it on that piece of PVC that um, I was showing you that I've got. This is my bathroom. So there's the back of my bald head. Let you guys have a nice view of that. Hopefully, if I don't get the camera placed too bad, you won't see that too much. But look, there we go. There's the gripper there in the mirror. Um, here's the, the stem, it's got all those bolts and the springs in it, in a piece of PVC, in a piece of PVC, you know, making the F-frame. And, you know, it's not super duper stable. I'm going to have to do some work on it um, after I very bravely consider putting some holes in my boat. Um, I'm still, still very reluctant about these amounts. Because essentially what it'll end up being is a piece like this. This is a uh, threaded male piece. It's a non-threaded female piece. And unless I can come up with something better, I'm going to be permanently attaching these to the hull of my boat, sealing the inside extraordinarily well. I mean, like, Fort Knox extraordinarily well. And I'm considering just permanently mounting these F-frame phone grippers, making another one, is permanently mounting, mounting them to these lengths of PVC, one for over the shoulder, one for the cockpit view. And just not worrying about taking them apart, you know, just being able to slap it on, put it down next to me in the back, maybe stuff it in my crate behind me if I'm not using it, or if I'm going under a bridge or something, and try to make them just super sturdy instead of anything else. So that's where I'm at with these. Um, remember, I'm posting the original video about this phone mount. Um, if you guys want to go watch that, give that guy some props. Um, I don't know if he came up with it or not, but yeah, sorry, I'm wandering around like this. I uh, don't know if he came up with it or not, but it's, it's a good design regardless of how poorly I've executed it. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up here. Um, if you guys saw the thing I did with the magnets the other day, uh, leave me a comment what you think about that. I've got some ideas about expanding on that, making it, I mean, everybody loves refrigerator magnet letters, but I'm working on making it a little bit more professional, I guess, would be a way to describe it. But that's going to be the end of that. Um, just go ahead and drop us a subscription, you know, subscribe to the channel, maybe um, leave us a comment if you're not going to do that. Let us know what you think about um, presentation or maybe, you know, tell me to clean my house up or if you want to see me do something else, want to see me do terrible at building something else for my kayak, 
Um, I'm always working on making it more organized and efficient so that I can get the most out of it when I'm on the water. Um, but go ahead and subscribe to the channel, please. I'm not going to beg, but I'll say please and thank you. Um, and, you know, maybe follow us on Instagram. Um, I'm Captain Longbong. My brother is Dr. Hotbox. Post, uh, you know, pictures about the things that we catch in the places that we're at. So if you're in our area and want to know where we're fishing, we're not going to see it online. But if you're in the area and kind of know where these places are, then maybe you can drop in and have a look around yourself. Um, until next time, keep those lines wet.